Russia and Ukraine agree to grain exports deal. Five more countries added to Russia's unfriendly list. Russia slashes key interest rate. A deal to unblock grain exports from Ukraine was signed at the UN-brokered talks in Istanbul, Turkey on Friday. Under the terms of the deal, which was agreed provisionally last week, representatives of Ukraine, Russia, the UN, and Turkey agreed to open a joint coordination center in the Turkish capital to oversee shipments from Ukraine, and to maintain safe transit routes for these shipments across the Black Sea. Gefteres described the signing as a beacon of relief in a world that needs it more than ever, and thanked Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan for his persistence in getting the agreement signed. Gefteres also praised Russian and Ukrainian officials for putting aside differences for the sake of the world's food supply, particularly in developing countries. Wheat deliveries from Ukraine, a major producer, were disrupted after Russia launched its military operation in the neighboring state in late February. The sides previously blamed each other for causing the crisis. Ukraine and some Western officials have accused Russia of deliberately preventing the shipments by blockading the country's Black Sea ports. Moscow insists that Ukraine made the shipments impossible by laying naval mines outside of the ports, including Odessa. Russia has extended its list of states considered adversarial on Friday to include Greece, Denmark, Slovenia, Croatia, and Slovakia. The government has updated the list of foreign states engaged in unfriendly actions against Russian diplomatic and consular missions abroad, the statement reads. The decree imposes restrictions on the country's hiring local personnel for their embassies, consulates, and representative offices of government agencies in Russia. Greece has a limit of 34 people, Denmark, 20, Slovakia, 16. Slovenia and Croatia cannot hire employees for their diplomatic missions and consular institutions, the government said. Russian authorities also signaled that the list was open-ended and could be expanded to more nations, given the ongoing hostile actions by foreign states against Russian representative offices abroad. The Central Bank of Russia cut its key interest rate on Friday from 9.5% to 8.0%, citing a further slowdown in annual inflation and subdued consumer demand. The cut was bigger than predicted by any of the Bloomberg-surveyed economists. According to the bank's statement, the decline in business activity has proven slower than had been expected in June. However, the external environment for the Russian economy remains challenging and continues to significantly constrain economic activity, CBR said. It also indicated that further rate reductions may follow in the second half of the year. The CBR more than doubled rates in February, from 9.5% to 20%, after Russia was hit with an avalanche of sanctions from the US, EU, UK and other countries. The emergency hike was intended to prop up the ruble, which had fallen to record lows. The Russian currency has since recovered to multi-year highs. Since then, the rate has been cut several times, most recently on June 10, when the CBR slashed it from 11% back to where it had been in February at 9.5%. The regulator also said that it expects annual inflation to edge down to 12 to 15 percent this year, before dropping to between 5 percent and 7 percent in 2023 and returning to its 4 percent target in 2024. This channel is dedicated to providing you with news, global events, and analysis in an unbiased, easy to understand manner, excellent for getting quick updates and insights, and for educational purposes. If you get some value out of this video, please consider helping us. Give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when new content is released.